started brutal on level three with the haka. I need to read more about Phoenix's changes because I I know that the demi heroes got significantly buffed. Like it makes a big difference. Like they're mm -hmm. way stronger, and the way that avenging protocol was changed. It used to be like when they die and they jump into another host, they become stronger. But now it's different. Where if other units around them die, they still get the buff right. or something like that. I'm not sure. Yeah, something like that. I think a future. I don't know if it's a mastery or future upgrade, um, level upgrade. Like the buffs are based on the amount of supply that you have, mm -hmm. and not necessarily the amount of units that you currently have. So we'll see how that is, that affects things. You have not Interesting. And hopefully we don't have any train wrecks like we had in. Uh, oh my god! Our that map. There, Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> that map always, always. I mean, even when we played it with Tahaka and uh, Ascendant of the and Stukov, Stukov, yep. we had problems. One of Amon's remaining loyalists the two strongest commanders, arguably. Mm -hmm. He seeks to climb the chain and become High Lord. Keep your armies close to me. With their psionic support, I will end his ascent. I'm glad we got to play part and parcel. I guess now oh, yeah. that we're moving back into missions that we recognize. Um, it will. It'll take a little, uh, it's a little of the pressure off, I suppose. Right. Yeah, it's a new map. Take some time to get getting used to it. Mm -hmm. I think we did fine though. We missed one train. We got got one. Yeah. But I know in the original map, if you destroy the train, it dropped parts. But I know Blizzard doesn't want the like completing bonus objectives to help you in the mission. Yeah, to directly affect it. Yeah, that makes sense. So this is exciting, I can get my Caldalus and Talus out. Caldalus Caldal is, he is great. He's uh, hes pretty strong. And eventually you can upgrade them more. It's good stuff. That's right, I said it. It's good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> it's kind of like the most popular meme on uh, Jabrino's Discord. The only reason I'm saying it now is because I saw someone earlier claim that it was a, it was it was now an old dead meme. So I'm like, great, I can say it, can again, say it again and <laughs> not and not worry about people losing their Copy. goddamn minds. Yeah. <laughs> See now Vastinex is saying it. It's like good <laughs> stuff. The difference between that and something like skeletons, for instance, is that I made skeleton. That's my meme. It will never die. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> These buffs that my units get when they die, though, seems pretty huge. Like, really good. Mm -hmm. And it, it buffs my units as well. Just everyone around them. Mm -hmm. I thought there were two of you in this fight. Oh, nice. <laughs> Those <That> count. <laughs> they shouldn't, but they do. That works. I made a couple Widow Mines. It says they shoot rockets at enemies. All right. I don't know. You must construct additional power. What do they usually shoot? Aren't they usually rockets? I mean, they're they're mines, I guess. How do I make a strike platform? I need an armory, and I can make up to ten. I also heard that to research Caldalus, you don't. It only requires minerals now. There's no gas requirements. Yeah. That's that's big because you can get them out faster and break your rocks. Mm -hmm. Enemies are heading for us. Don't let them catch you off guard. Like, how many of those mines, mag mines, do you have? They come down five at a time, and you're gonna have a max of five charges, oh, and okay. they're free. <laughs> the widow mines, when they move, they have little rocket boosters on their backside. Yeah. Attacks by launching missiles at every ground. See, it doesn't. I, oh, cool down 40 seconds. So it's not what I expect. I thought like they were changed significantly, such that they. Well, you don't need these. Um. <laughs> So that they like well fire well continuously them. or something, but yeah. that's not the case. It's like just, like weaker mines, but I guess not. Mm -hmm. So yeah, when dropping the Praetor suit, it's definitely not like <laughs> the Apocalypse where he just destroys everything. Yeah, so. but Whirlwind and Thunderous Charge are really good. That's mm -hmm. for sure. Like they're not. So you don't have to just drop them right on top of uh, mm -hmm. enemy units. So do my mines count as pushing her? No, they don't. That would be neat. No. The wood of mine should. Just make those and leave them around the map. I would like to take my base. 
among the bravest zealots I have ever known. Cardalis is out. The fact that they auto cast the mines is weird, but I kind of like it. Widow mines, you've done it. <laughs> and they don't but do like friendly too fire the, too. The, the, yeah, the mag mines they um they activate and then they just keep going so that they'll hit stuff behind. That's really nice. I didn't think I would like the mag mines, but now I'm realizing that I actually love them though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they draw enemy aggression as well, so you could like draw some units out or yes, if you want. You take my my base. Nice. I want to make those fighter pads. How much do these cost? Four supply? Are you kidding me? And how many can you build total? I can build a max of ten. So, yeah, probably to make it decent, you, you got to get a decent number. <laughs> right. Okay, let's try. Let's get at least one. How about that? Permanently cloak rates. Unregistered cloaking system. Sounds good. <laughs> really so cool. Yeah, I am experiencing some lag more than usual, mm. but it's not nothing too, too crazy. That's too bad. Are you, is yours your... No, mine's okay right yours now, but... We are on different sides of the country, so we might be. I mean, you. I assume you connect through U.S. West, but I don't know. I assume so. There's Talus, Caldolus. Yes, exactly. They can hold Best hold friends hands. forever. Oh, and there's the hybrid. Okay, bombing strike, precision strike. There it is. Okay. Um, I need more of these. Make all of them, all of the platforms. <laughs> This is so strange. It's just, it's so weird to get used to. I, uh -huh. I will get used to it, but it's just so bizarre. This there we go. Your command. Okay. How are we looking? Uh, you want to start pushing? Um, we have to get into the, yeah. Hybrid. Precision strike, go! Let's see how this works. Ah, there they go! Oh, nice. Yeah, you can see the, the markers. That did some noticeable damage, I think. It's not, not bad, not bad. Not terrible. Yeah, nice conservators. Yeah, I'm gonna make, try to make use of them. Oh god, she's right at the edge. Yeah. Oh god, Dominator, die! Okay. <laughs> no, we had time. <laughs> Scaring me for no reason. It didn't look like she. It looked like she was a lot closer when I when I took a gander. We've got it. <laughs> We've had much closer calls than that. All I need, right. I need to. Uh... <laughs> I gotta keep things spiced up for the viewers. Oh, yeah. oh my God, they're gonna lose. <laughs> Even the you know the people the naysayers. Ah, what a bunch of noobs. They're gonna lose. Exciting. Ah, we're not close to losing. This is boring. Nothing to see here, folks. Just leave. <laughs> Just leave. Just. <laughs> Just leave. Go home. <laughs> All right. Seems like. It's hey, it's all... Pop You Trash. What's up, Pop You Trash? I sense Let's get all my tech. Nearby. Yeah. Psionic bleeding is distracting me. I need more of these strike fighter platforms if ASAP. How much do these cost? Maybe I'll make some carriers this map. Yeah, man, that's what he's all about. They nerf carriers, though. I, I guess the interceptors cost more money now. That is utter garbage. I'm furious. <laughs> I, I mean, I've said this before, but like, everyone said mass carriers with Phoenix. He's easy that way. Yeah, but he's boring. He's boring. Yeah. He's boring. Well, considering I can only get two personalities. Yeah. Not a That's whole true. lot of op options choice. I have right now. So, the Reapers, do they attack air? No, just no, ground. No, not. I, I, I think, I so mean, I saw that in your... the video, but I don't think I can do that yet. Okay. I so, have virtually no anti-air except my my galleons. Except for Horner. So he's gonna be your anti-air. Yeah, special, I'm gonna have to get some boost. Vikings out. 
Can I hit air units with the precision precision strikes? Enemy forces are supporting their champion psionically. I mean, they can push it and I'll get hit by magmines. I guess we should push her a little bit. But Adepts can attack air in this. Yeah, should we try to get the yeah, let's go for the, the bonus? bonus? Not the bonus. Yeah, the bonus. <laughs> Not the bonus? Yes, the bonus? Maybe the bonus? There's a resource pickup. I guess the resources pick up, they depend on, like, the cost of the unit that dies. Yeah, I think so. I can just use the Vikings to help with this. We can use Phoenix oh, wow. anti-air. The, the Vikings are so weird looking. Yeah, like they're a goofy looking. Of metal on them. Well, that did, like, no damage. The wraiths are cool looking too. Mm -hmm. yeah, they cloak. Ah, look at their. They don't. They shoot lasers in the air. They don't shoot missiles. Such troublesome huh. creatures. Slay the last one when you have the Strange. chance. So they don't have a ground attack anymore. It's just all. It's just all, twenty damage laser. Period. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Ready our defenses. Our foes are on the march. That was like in uh, say, the Scattered custom campaign that I played. Mm -hmm. The race ground and air attacks were both lasers. I prefer that. I think that's nice. Mm -hmm. Just land these Vikings. Okay, I need to get these precision strikes going. Yeah, make it happen. <laughs> I need all 10 of them up and running. Never mind, I'm supply blocked. <laughs> I am enjoying just dropping Phoenix and his uh, the Praetor and Dragoon suit on the battlefield. Yeah, it it's is satisfying. Talus, no. Um, I don't know, Reapers, I guess? I don't know. I'm just like, it doesn't really matter what you make with, uh, with Mira's stuff, I guess. It's cheap. Look how the Vikings are huge. Yes, they're enormous, and it's really satisfying. Um, I don't think I can attack air units with the precision strikes. That's cool looking. I don't know how I feel That's about how effective it. effective it is. Yeah, it's, it's a very small AoE, and it, it locks onto one specific unit. It's it's weird. I think I just need more of them. Build them. <laughs> just make all ten. Let's go. Uh, the hybrid are out, so we should probably yep. go. Okay. This area is just about fully wiped, so that's why I'm. Start heading these Vikings. towards. They seem pretty towards good. There. Uh, make just like a couple carriers, not too many. I quite like the idea of being able to call in the air units wherever, because it seems like they counter a lot of stuff very well. So that way you can... Uh, uh -huh. call, call them down when yeah, they, needed. Yeah, they all get tactical jump, so then you can... Apparently my uh, expansion was attacked. Yes. Not, I did witness did that happen. not realize that. <laughs> Yet another elemental has wandered onto the field of battle. Deal okay. If you can. Okay. Just, yeah. Ready when you are. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's go it. Precision strikes. I just launched like six of them on the big hybrid. Let's see how this works. Okay. Yeah. That's great. It's good for single targets because you can drop like all of them on the right. same guy. They all unload their uh, their load on single units. Yep. Yeah, let's go for the bonus. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. Uh, I like his ground Phoenix's ground army a lot. Yeah. Oops. Oh god. <laughs> oh, that's bad. I can't tactical strike him either. He'll be okay. No, I'm gonna lose Vikings to this. No, they're alive. Oh, okay. You have destroyed all 
of the elementals in the surrounding area. Your pension for Some violence. Annoying units at home. I got him! I got him! Yeah, the <laughs> Oh! Boom! Boom! Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's nice. You don't have to like recall your army. You just uh -huh. you just drop some bombs. I can't. I mean, I don't know. I want to make it a goal. Like I should be making all ten of the single map, but I don't know if I actually will or not. No, it's gonna take a lot of a lot of effort. I mean, it's time. it's 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 a thousand minerals, a thousand gas plus. Uh, so how much supply? Forty supply total. That's not bad for the the amount of utility you get out of that, I suppose. Uh huh. That's not too bad. Just watch the enemy go through these minefields. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually really satisfying. Uh -huh. When I watched it on the video, I'm like, I don't. Uh, this is kind of silly. It doesn't look like it's going to be that effective. But the fact that you can stack it up is actually really, really cool. I've changed my tune, folks. I wasn't sure how yeah, I felt Gareth. about it, and now I'm pr I'm positive that this is something I am pleased with. <laughs> Where is Cardalis? Oh, there it is. Shall the thing about this is, I don't really feel that confident in uh, even upping the difficulty at this point. I don't yeah. know though. I'm just not confident at how uh, how strong my army is right now. It doesn't seem like, it doesn't feel that powerful. We can play a few more. I think upping, we should try it. Upping the difficulty. Yeah. Try so much of it is like you see your army. It's like a big ball of units, and you like how how much That's faith can you realistically power. have that it can from the hybrids. Slay them quickly. that it can push through. I don't know. I like these wraiths. I shouldn't, what but I do. Last? Oh, 15 seconds. You're going on hard. That's a lot of hybrid. Yeah, it is. Boom! Okay, that was sort of effective. Kind of hard to tell. We have so many units in here. Nice. Well, that went fine. What is I wasn't sure. Okay. I'm like, are we... What is the, uh, what are the Raven's abilities? Um, they're basically Havocs. Okay, so I'll make they... one. So, the main thing that they do is the Analyze Weakness. All melee and ranged attacks against Analyze units do three bonus damage. Effects last as long as the Raven remains locked down. Then it can go into that silent mode, which I talked about cloaking. Uh -huh. And then Imaging Radar, which reveals locations of enemy units at long range. So I think it's it's just meant to be like a souped-up detector. Speech, and you... I mean, that's basically uh, it. I think it's uh, a souped-up detector. Click on your, your Horner Atkins. units. They all mm -hmm. have unique names. Transmit core. Like Nova's. Uh -huh. Like yeah. Nova. Stand it by. Yes, come on. Check out your Battlecruiser's name. Try to say that oh, one. Really? Admiral Itfelkofer. <laughs> Now I guess we should push up. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm pleased so far. I, you know, when I watched the showcase, I'm like, I, I don't know how I'm gonna do with this hero. Seems a little too in depth for me, and I'm real lazy. <laughs> but um, you know what? Seems great. I'm very happy with it so far. Yeah, the galleons are pretty awesome. Yeah. I wish the airstrikes could attack air too. That would be a nice little thing. Maybe, maybe it's an upgrade I'm gonna get later, but I doubt it. The problem is by the time I launch these things, they're, see, they're not even across the map. Here uh -huh. they come. It's like, nah. It takes time. Too late, assholes. <laughs> can you see them on the mini map? Yeah, you can see them. They leave the, they leave the, uh, Oh, I, see, yeah, I, see I assume them. they're vulnerable when they're coming in, too. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> it looked like you were dropping down the Hyperion. Rainer was helping, uh, yeah. helping out. 
I like these battle cruisers. They're very powerful. 900 HP, and they're 333 now, so they, they have six armor. That's absurd. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely it's, it's, the fact that your units give a buff to your ally and yourself when uh, when they die definitely seems yes. like a commander that works best when they're uh, like working close close quarters with the, your partner. Yes, I agree. I think that is fantastic. Okay, got to try to bomb up this ramp. Oh, I can cast the strike in the fog of war. Really? Oh, look yeah, at that. Yeah, I'm doing it right now. Oh, well, unfortunately, they all moved, but... Oh, so they have the same place. Oh, I yeah. see. The further away you are, the longer it takes for it to land. Right. That might be good, uh, like, before you push into an enemy base, doing that, and then bringing yeah. in your units. Because I'm assuming I didn't realize structures that. as well. Exactly. I didn't realize that you could do it through the fog of war. That makes a big difference. And you use it with the ravens because the ravens can see through uh -huh. the fog of war, and so, then you and then you drop all the bombs. That makes complete sense. Now. Right. Yeah. So you use those before you start pushing into a base. Yeah, we could try Brut brutal next. The fighters are not invincible. Okay, yeah, that's what I suspected. I guess every time we start these maps, I get a little nervous that um, I'm like, oh, I don't know, she doesn't seem that strong. And then by the end, I'm like, holy shit. Uh. <laughs> yes, my army is incredibly strong. And then with each level, she's, she's gonna get stronger and stronger. Yeah. I definitely know I wanna focus on those air pads. They're, they're fun to use. More than I thought they would be. Yeah, they seem oh. great for just pushing through bases. Good point, Shining Dragon. You normally build them in your natural expansion, so they're a little closer. Uh, yeah, that's, Travel good. Far. that's a good idea. How did you like uh, level two Phoenix with your new champions? I mean, you just. I mean, you don't, there's no micro involved with the, the new champions, so they just make your army just a little stronger. Yep. Which I'm, yeah, I'm perfectly happy about. <laughs> Just micro the conservators and the phoenix suits. Assault galleons can be individually upgraded with hangar bays that automatically build and launch fighter drones. That is oh, that's great. Awesome. I don't. I wonder <laughs> if the drones cost money. We'll find out. So it's kind of like a, a Terran carrier. That yeah. Can produce units. I like how you have to individually <laughs> upgrade them though. That's that's a neat little twist. Oh. Okay, so I got. And then my the, ravens, my ravens can target two additional units with the weakness analyze weakness. Cool. So I got the arbiter suit. Nice. Cloak itself and nearby allies. Recall friendly units to its location. Use stasis to disable enemy units. I also was reading that the stasis is uh, there's no cast time to it anymore, and it can like cast while it's moving. As well for I didn't realize there was cast, uh, cast time on it in the first place. Races. I guess it had to turn and face a target right. and So it's just instantaneous. It. Like, boom, you stasis. <laughs> yeah. 